Listen up now, bluegrass fans. I'm Ernie Knight, and I was raised by the railroad line. Well, today we are parked in eastern North Carolina at Smithfield, where Marshall Stevenson has had a two-day Legends in Bluegrass Music Festival. We're going to join the band on stage in just a moment, but first let me tell you that it consists of Curly Seckler, vocals and guitar, both Eric Ellis and Alan Shelton on banjo, Marshall's own rhythm guitar and lead vocals, John Shuffler is on bass, Josh Graves, everybody's favorite uncle's on dobro, and Tater Tate's playing the fiddle and the bass vocals. Let's get down to the stage right now for the Legends of Bluegrass, and they're going to kick things off with Little Girl in Tennessee. If I don't, I can get a stool and get up on it. That's right. I don't know. I don't sing as high as I used to. A lot of people, I've heard them say, I can sing just as good now as I ever could in his 80-some years of old age. Somebody lied. <laughs> now, I know I can't come close to doing what I used to do when it comes to singing, but I still like to try. Good job. Thank you. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, little girl of mine in Tennessee. <laughs> Someday I'll settle down to that little country town To that little, little girl of mine, Tennessee I know she's waiting there for me. Someday I'll settle down to the little country town, to the little girl of mine, Tennessee. Oh, she begged me not to go. You'll be sorry, dear. I know. Me. So I ramble all around and nothing could be found to take the place of her in Tennessee. Oh, oh little girl of mine in Tennessee, I know she's waiting there for me. Someday I'll settle down to that little country town to the little girl. done a great job. That's higher than I can climb. Well, I hadn't been singing in a long time, but I've been uh, using some entertainer's secret. Yeah. You spray your throat and your nostrils and everything, clears all the horses up. And I asked Davey, and I forgot about uh, you coming out. I said, let's try that little girl. Yeah. Right you might have sprayed me all over. <laughs> and I, I still couldn't reach that one. That's high. Curly? Uh, yes, did. You did? Uh, when we went to Nashville a year ago this past November, I did a tribute to Leston Earl, and I wanted Josh Graves and Curly Seckler. 
on it because they travel so many miles with Flat and Scruggs, and they, that's always been my favorite band. And uh, we uh, got together and did it. So we're just going to do this kind of strictly unrehearsed. We're going to jump around. Get in A, fellas, and uh, we're going to sing a hymn, sing a couple hymns. Uh, get in line, brother. That was a classic. Uh, <clears throat> that was a classic recording that they did. Curly was singing tenor on it, so. Uh, We've got a dandy over there on the dobro, ain't we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ain't that a dandy? <laughs> you know, I remember the first time I saw him, he was working with Esco Hankins. Lord have mercy. He's sitting in a chair and his feet wouldn't even touch the floor. <laughs> they still won't. But <laughs> Josh, I was just fixing to pull that line, and you went and got in there. Early. <laughs> you know, Cousin Jake worked with him, Josh. That was quite some team. Lester used to say that Jake would climb a tree backwards to tell you a lie. <laughs> but it's great to see Josh back in the music business. Give him a great round of applause, will you? Yeah, his son, I believe it was in Roseanne, Kentucky. First time I'd worked with Josh in quite a long time since he'd lost both of his limbs. And Sonny come over to me and he said, Curly, he said, could you see it in your heart to loan me a couple hundred dollars till dad gets back on his feet? <laughs> Tried to pull it on you today, and he done done it. Yeah, I've done took too much of your time. No, that's, that's good. I, I get in some stuff, time. I won't get stopped. Okay, Eric, kick us off on uh, Get In Line, brother. Get in line, brother. If you want to go home. 
Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get on your knees and right in that wrong. Then you'll be singing this old time song. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Get on your knees and right in that wrong. Then you'll be singing this old time song. Get in line, brother, if you want to go home. Thank you. We're going to do one more hymn while we're doing it. We'll do Crying Holy unto the Lord. Well, everybody get a break, and then we just, I'd love to do these gospel numbers. And I figured while we was doing one, we'd do two. So, Eric, if you will, kick us off in eight. <laughs> All the drugs. some numbers that we did on the recording. Uh, I want Uncle Josh to kick me off on 100 years from now. We missed that dobro early when you in D chord. I, I don't know if Josh knows this or not. He hadn't done it about 100,000 times probably. But, uh, Lord, 100 years from now I won't be crying Oh, 
but it seems that it was yesterday you told me about this kiss you never would allow. But that didn't last, dear. It breaks my heart in two. I don't care a hundred years from now. Not a hundred years from now, I won't be crying. That you broke every vow I don't care a hundred years from now Lord, a hundred years from now I won't be crying I'd like for Curly to do the number that I saw him sing back in the courthouse in Smithfield a few haircuts ago. A few uh, haircuts ago. You know, I ain't got much hair left. Go ahead, talk. On. <laughs> but uh, Will Crockerty was up here early, you know, the clerk of court. Now yeah. he saw that show that night. Uh -huh. But there's something about this song, Curly. I don't know, when the fiddle breaks it, it's, and it's telling about the mountains and the mountain girl and everything. It's so lonesome and unique, but I've always loved to hear you sing it. And I'd really love to hear you sing uh, Moonlight on My Cabin. All right. I sang it once tonight, I think, or this afternoon. Yep, I think so. We got some it new people. It was light on. outside then, but it's dark <laughs> now, I think. Get in the key of E, boys. <clears throat> when there's a moonlight on my cabin, I'll be with you. When there's a moonlight on the pine trees of the day, For I know there's someone that should be waiting When there's a moonlight on the pine trees of the day. For the long trail of the lonesome pine is winding And the whipper I sing that lonesome song There's a girl up in the mountains waiting for me With her big brown eyes and wavy long black hair Oh, Josh! Tell you what, I've I got a surprise for you here. I'm I'm gonna call out a couple, of, well, three guys here. They, we got two young pickers here. Uh, Rick King, he he loves Josh's playing, and he's gonna come out on the dobro. And Lloyd Heron, he's a young banjo player that plays good. 
and uh, their mentor, Herschel Sizemore, they're going to come out and do a couple instrumentals. They want to do it. They're going to do a tune that Herschel wrote, uh, a tune called Rebecca, and then then they're going to do Train 45. We'll get them cranked up, and and uh, so, uh, fellas, you out? Here? Oh yeah, we got Herschel in the back. So, uh, Herschel, you and Lloyd and uh, Rick, come on up here. Yeah, they rehearsed me. I oh, think I pretty much uh, yeah. come close to it. You ready? Plug plug our show dates. All right. Uh, he said it was a B. They go to Johnny Grove. John, yeah, I'm not anxious. I'm Johnny just a little nervous. Um, I'm in partners with uh, John Lawless up in Roanoke, Virginia, on a teaching seminar that we have every November. And this year it'll be the second weekend in November, and we got flowers on our table out in the uh, front there. So uh, whether you want to buy anything or not, go buy. We got several of them. We got a bluegrass festival now that goes on there in Roanoke, and we got flyers on that also. And some of the name bands in bluegrass will be there. So go buy and pick up information on that. Okay, these boys are going to start off with Train 45. I'd, I'd, I'd let you set your own pace there, Lord. It's really good to see young guys like these uh, that is interested in our music and following along. I know I used to follow Josh and Curly and Lester and Earl around. I told somebody it's a wonder I hadn't got smushed from walking around on their feet all the time when they was tuning up. And it's good to see guys that still like this music. I wrote a tune, I guess, in 79, uh, and I recorded it. Uh, and I named it for my mother, I named it Rebecca, and these young men want to play that, so that's what I come out for is to play that with them. We're going to do Rebecca. Thank you. 
to give Herschel Lloyd Rick a big hand. That was great. I'd like to call Curly back up here, and uh, we'll do get a trio. David, uh, uh, John can help us uh, a little tune called Dim Lights and Thick Smoke. We did that. That was a standard that... Uh, okay, you're working in. Let's, let's work in E, you want, e or F. Either one. Y'all did it in F. You want to work in F? E, I don't know. E, let's, okay, let's do it in E. I, I don't know. It's been 40 years since I sung it. Dim Lights, Thick Smoke. Dim Lights. Dim Lights. Yeah, here Curly to help me on one more little, um, I'll never shed another tear. We did that one, and uh, we do that one in G. I never <laughs> Okay, we're going to have Eric to kick us off on a, uh, I'll never shed another tear. I used to sit alone at night and worry, little darling, for I thought you meant the world to me. But now things have changed and they are gone forever, so I'll never shed another tear. I'll never shed another tear, now I don't care what happens, you have proved your love untrue to me. There's nothing you can do that will ever change my feelings, so I'll never shed another tear. With a broken heart, I'll never forget the love we made together. The many times you told me not to be. But now you've forgotten and they all gone forever. So I'll never shed another tear. 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 I'll never shed
shed another tear now I don't care what happens You have proved your love untrue to me There's nothing you can do that it will never change my feelings So I'll never shed another tear Prove your love untrue to me There's nothing you can do That would ever change my feelings So I'll never share Well, I, I liked the song or two, and you said, why don't you do that before I met you? Before I met you. Before I met you. Let's do that one. Before I met you. I thought I had seen pretty girls in my time, but that was before I met you. I said that no woman. That was before I met you I thought I was swinging the world by the tail I thought I could never be blue I thought I'd been kissed and I thought I'd been loved But that was before I met you Tell me you must reap just what I have sown But darling, I hope it's not true For once I made plans about living alone But that was before I met you I thought I was swinging the world by the tail I thought I could never be blue That was before I met you. Curly, I think we need to get uh, Josh and Eric and Tater to do a good instrumental. You fellas pick yeah. out a good instrumental. One thing I'd like to say, as good as we are, we need to get a bus and get on the road. <laughs> We'd be dangerous when we Curly. I hope we get a bus that don't catch on fire. Tell me about it. There wasn't enough fire departments to put out the bus fire. Speaking of fire, they come up with a, a team. They want to play the Fireball Mail. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs>
That was mighty good, fellas. That was really good. I'd like to call a friend of mine up here to the stage. He wants to say a few words. He used to be the manager for Roby Huffman and the Bluegrass Cutups back in the 70s. And he's been an MC on my festival for several times. And he hails from right here in Smithfield. And uh, he wanted to say a few words. And I said, well, sure. Come on up here. Mr. Wade Hamilton, everybody give him a big hand. But these fellas that, are, that have been up here this weekend are, are truly the legends. And I, I'm not going to take up a whole lot of your time because I, I, other things I wanted to tell you about. I, I will say I, I had the first bluegrass program in, in this part of the country when bluegrass really wasn't popular in 1970. It was a, a risk. WBZB took a, a chance of putting a bluegrass program on the air. I had to borrow records from Roby Huffman for all the members of his band, what few I had, and Al Batten had some of his. I borrowed records and come out on Saturday afternoon and do a radio program and take them all back to the house and we'd do it again next Saturday. And it worked out to be a pretty good program. Uh, we had a lot of listeners over the years that, uh, that listened to WBZB. And I'm glad, so glad that now there are stations like WPYB in Benson, WMPM in particular in Smithville. Uh, if you don't listen to it, WMPM has Bluegrass Friday. Every Friday from noon until sign off is Bluegrass. And uh, Carl Lamb and Randy, uh, uh, WQDR, Tim Woodall, JD, JD over here, Buddy Michaels in Burlington. Chester and Goldsboro, there's one in uh, Fayetteville, Bob Barden. There's a lot of bluegrass on the air if you listen to it in the right place, and, and I'm glad to see it. It's, uh, it's, it's long overdue. I'm going to get out of the way, and, and, uh, but I, before, I get, I, before I leave, I have to ask one thing. I know you haven't heard this today. Have y'all had a good time? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Wade, very good. It's good to hear all those good words about Bluegrass and all the musicians. Okay, we'd like to call everybody back on stage and have, kind of have a little grand finale for about uh, two or three songs. Alan Shelton, Herschel Sizemore. Uh, we, got, we got all the fellas here, I think. Uh, Curly, you want to say a few words and, and start some off? You got a song? No. I, I don't. Okay. The only thing I'd like to say that it's been a pleasure for this old man to come back to the good state of North Carolina and meet all you wonderful folks. We didn't have a big crowd, but thank God you came. We appreciate it so much, you'll never know. <clears throat> There's a lot of people think they made it on their own. They didn't do it. You people made us. Right. You supported us. And God knows I appreciate it this very day. Now, if Lester Flat was still with us, May of this year, the 11th, he'll be gone 25 years. He'd tell you the same thing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming to see us here. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you, Curly. We're going to get Alan Sheldon to kick us off. We're going to do a medley of hymns, and I saw the light, Alan. I wondered so aimless life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in Then like the blind man that brought it back his sight Praise the Lord, I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more darkness, no more night Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside Praise the Lord, I saw the light
Well, I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home, a band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry love. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry love. Coming for to carry me home. If you get there before I do, coming for to carry me home, tell all my friends I'm coming to, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, low sweet cherry love, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet cherry love, coming for to carry me home. Alan Shelton. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away to a home. On God's celestial shore, I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Praying, somebody touched me while I was praying. Somebody touched me while I was praying. Somebody touched me, must have been the hand of the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touched me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touched me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touched me, must have been the hand of the Lord. I wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then like the blind man that caught the gap beside, praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Woo! That was good. We're going to do one more number. We'd like to say it's really been a pleasure, everybody coming out. Uh, it's, it's been a, a fun time seeing all you people enjoying the show. I hope you enjoyed all the music, and we plan to have even a better one maybe next year, March 4th and 5th. And uh, I want to get something going just like I've already planned in memory of my son. And it's really a thrill to have all the fellas that I used to play with years ago, and it uh, brings back a lot of memories. So uh, any particular one? Beg your pardon? We'd like to thank, yeah, we'd like to thank Alan, Curly, David Wiseman, Eric Ellis, Herschel Sizemore, Tater Clarence E. Tate, <laughs> Mr. Kenny Baker. He plays one of the sweetest fiddles I've ever yeah. heard. Everybody give Kenny Baker a hand. Yeah. Well, on the bass, Mr. John Shuffer, one of the classic bass men. J.D. Higgins, he's done such a great, fantastic job emceeing the show. 
He's got a great voice. A lot of people has already wanted to sign him up. And I said, well, just give me a little time. He's already, he's already been signed, but you can maybe talk with him a little bit later. But uh, do any of y'all have any requests for one last number? You okay, I, are you, I'll tell you what, let's do, Colonel. I, I think I, I know. Yeah, you just do that. I know a I verse. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Why don't you come home with me? That's where I'm going. <laughs> I've lived there a long, long time, over the hill to the poor house. I, I don't remember the uh, words let's try to a little it. Bit of it. <coughs> oh, how can it be they have driven their father so helpless and old? Oh, God, may the crimes be forgiven to perish out here in the cold. I'm old, I'm helpless, I'm feeble, and the days of my youth have gone by, and over the hills to the poor house, I must wander along there to die. Long years since Mary was taken by young affectionate wife Since I've been alone and forsaken The light has done out of my life I'm old, I'm helpless and feeble And the days of my youth have grown by And over the hills to I must wander along there to die. We need, we need to end on a real fast one. I think we need to really turn it on with Why Did You Wonder, Colonel? I want you to help me do that one. What is it we're going to do this time? Why Did You Wonder? We're going to close her out with that. We're you watch my her. right leg. I hope it don't leave. Okay, it won't leave, Colonel. <laughs> okay, Taylor, kick us off on Why Did You Wonder. Jeannie? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Oh, why, oh, why did you wonder? Why did you ever roam? For you know I'd be lonely without you. All alone in your old mountain home. Oh, why did you? Little darling, why did you leave me alone? The nights are so lonely without you, alone in her old mountain home. Oh, why, oh, why did you wonder? Why did you ever roam? For you know I'd be lonely without you, alone in her old mountain home. Why did you leave me alone? The nights are so lonely without you As they were in our old mountain home Oh, why, oh, why did you wonder? Why did you leave me alone? For you know I've been lonely without you Alone in our old mountain home